from teams like that to adults to kids. A lot of people have been looking at different and their own ways to honor Kobe Bryant. He meant the world to me. I loved watching him and I would always take after him. I'm wearing all my socks today. So full disclosure, that is my son Braden, and I shared a little bit of this on my Facebook page. He is playing in his high school or in his middle school game right now, not quite to high school yet. We have talked a lot though as a father and a son since yesterday. He's just one of so many out there who are having a tough time processing the loss of someone they admired so much. And that desire to remember isn't limited to just kids or just basketball players. CBS 11's JD Miles tonight is joining us live from Music City Mall in Louisville with a look at how people there are paying their respects to the NBA legend. JD. Doug, this is usually the week of the year when stores like this one are promoting their Super Bowl teams um, at their stores. But now instead, they are racing to get as much Lakers and Kobe Bryant merchandise on their shelves as possible. Really, we had, a, uh, we had these T-shirts. We had to come up and customize these uh, T-shirts to meet the demand. David Bierman says the death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant at an age so close to his playing days could be the most stunning in sports history. Uh, New, New Year's Eve, 1972, and uh, Roberto Clemente was uh, died in a plane crash. You know, there've been other players that died, like Thurman Munson. I remember, uh, you know, as well. Really, it's, this is as large a, uh, you know, a sudden tragic uh, death as I can, uh, you know, recall in the world of sports. The owner of Pro Sports Image in Music City Mall says the demand for Kobe Bryant merchandise from fans who want to express their love and support. Has been tremendous. It's it's a part of the mourning process. I think uh, you know people want to uh, commemorate. They want to feel like they they've done something to, to remember him and commemorate him. Still, really, just in disbelief. Melvin Sanders is a former NBA player who now operates a fitness center in Dallas. His mind has been focused all day on Bryant's untimely death, much like the TVs all around his gym. It's just, I mean, I think it's probably a conversation with everybody. I mean, right now, I mean, exactly what happened, why it happened and you know how the basketball move forward you know in a sense sanders has an artist painting a mural of the retired lakers star as a tribute to the biggest star he ever played against during his brief career and here live at the store we've got a young man who works at the mall his name is sergio as you can see he's decked out in his kobe uniform sergio i guess you're here to show your support yes i am uh... He's my favorite basketball player of all the time. Yeah, he was for a lot of people. And stores like this one plan to have a lot more Lakers and Kobe merchandise on their racks by the end of the week. Live in Louisville, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.